All right, y'all, this is a quick video on how to cheese the anniversary dungeon with Pika. If you don't know how to do the beginning of the dungeon, I'm gonna run through it quickly. If you do, just click on the timestamp that I listed to go to the part where I cheese the boss. All right, so this first part is just trying to find a key. You open a bunch of presents, find the key, and if you find it early, there you go. You just open the door and go through it quickly. For the second phase, you just match the corresponding presents with the colored pads. This is pretty easy. You just grab them and put them on the pads. For the third part, you just need to go on top of where I'm going, grab a pistol, preferably any one-shot accurate gun, and then you just gotta shoot the presents. I'd personally wait for them to all open up so they can all blow up together rather than me wasting time shooting them one by one. This part comes in two waves, so you just need to clear out the first wave of presents, and then you just gotta clear out the second wave of presents, then you're good to go. For this part, you open up presents, the presents have an item inside of them, and you gotta match the items. There are six presents, meaning you gotta match three pairs of identical items with each other. Be really careful because icicles spawn in this phase and they do a ton of damage. For the boss phase, you gotta do damage to the present first. Make sure your mirror kick, your light lunge, and your light flight are all out of cooldown because after you deal the damage to the boss, you will need to do the following. After you activate the boss, fly over to the platform I am flying on, and then wait for him to jump into that platform. As soon as you see him doing the jumping animation, move up to the ledge that I'm going to right now. After you're on that ledge, you have a bit of time until it has his jump move charged up again, so start using your light ray and pika kick to do damage to the boss. If you have your ultimate charged up, use it right away. After a while, the boss will jump on the ledge, and as soon as it does that, either pika fly or use another move to swiftly get away from that platform. If you get stuck, you will most likely either die or take a lot of damage. Your strategy should be to get the boss on the same area you were as before with his jump ability reset or on cooldown. Right now you should be trying to get him to jump towards you in a new area so you can go back to that same platform to bait it again.
as soon as you have him back in the same spot, you just rinse and repeat until the boss dies. If you do this perfectly, you don't have to do it too many times since the boss doesn't have a lot of HP. And that's how you cheese the boss with Pika. Just a few things to note for this cheese is that you need to be very vigilant for the jumping animation to play so you know exactly when to dodge or avoid that move. It's very easy to mess up with that move because of the huge AoE it has. But as soon as you get used to it, you can do runs pretty consistently and get a lot of loot from this. So good luck to everybody and Merry Christmas.